Okay, so in this video I'm going to walk you through the steps to deleting a WordPress site um, for a domain name that you've got. So this is in case that you've been hacked or there's malware on your sites that you need to get rid of. The fastest and easiest, um, quickest way to get rid of that malware is to completely start from scratch. So in this case I'm going to delete one of the sites that we have. So obviously once you've signed in and you've opened up your websites, you want to hover down to the domain that you want to delete the installation from. Click on site tools and that'll take you to the managing board for the specific site. So that will have the security stuff, the WordPress installation, the email accounts, everything associated to this domain. So, um, what you want to do is click on WordPress on the left hand side, click on install and manage, and then you'll see all of your installations, whether that's WordPress, any other um, website builder that you've got, you'll see it under here. So we've only got one. So what I'm going to do is click on the three dots here and simply click on delete application. So, so this is the message that you'll see. Um, most likely what I do in situations where there's malware is I completely delete everything including the database. Um, that's if you're building a small site. So Gumi Lawns was only a one page site. So if you're building out like a huge site then I would recommend keeping the database just by clicking on this where you want to keep the database which is your themes, plugins and everything associated to your website. But most most times when there's malware I usually just completely start from scratch. So once you've done that, click on confirm and then that will go through the process of completely deleting that WordPress installation. So now if we did want to go and install a new one we simply click on the WordPress installation here which is simply click that and then you go ahead enter into the information that you want for your website whether that's you know the admin information the password the email associated and all that but that's it that's the that's simply how you go about deleting a WordPress installation for a specific domain